Most people who use cursor knows that it is one of the best and powerful AI coding tools out there. But there's one feature in cursor that doesn't get nearly as much attention it should. And it's called the planning mode. And the kind of difference that it will make if you're using the plan mode is honestly pretty big. When you're creating something in cursor without using the planning mode, most probably you're using the agent mode and you directly jump straight into coding. But with the planning mode, Cursor will help you to map out the structure, features and steps before you ever touch a file and it makes the whole build process feel much clearer and cleaner. And the interesting thing is that not a lot of people are still aware of the plan mode and the kind of difference that it can make and today in this video, I'm going to introduce the same and how you can get started with the same. So let's quickly get started. So here I have opened up Cursor and here I have opened up a blank Next.js project right within Cursor just as to demonstrate how exactly this new plan mode works in Cursor. And again, I can quickly go ahead and let's say start the dev server, pnpm run dev, and I can open localhost 3000. And as you can see, this right here is like a basic Next.js project that I just got started with. And now, usually what people do is that when they want to build something, whether they are starting from scratch or want to, let's say, add new features to an existing project, what they usually do is that they straight up go ahead and enter their prompt in here and optionally select a model and click on the send button. They directly do it. So even before having a back and forth conversation with the AI, they straight up give the prompt and hit enter. And the problem here is that cursor will go ahead and implement whatever you are asked to in a way that it thinks is the best. And in the real world, it might not be the best approach to implement that particular feature or the AI might not have full context about it, but it will go ahead and think about it itself. And without taking input from you, it will go ahead and implement the same. And at the end of the day, that might not be what you want. So the secret lies in this drop down menu right here. So as you can see right now, we are in the agent mode. But if I click on this drop down menu, I can find a couple more options in here, including the plan mode. So first of all, if I hover over the plan mode, as you can see, it says create detailed plans for accomplishing task. Then here we have a debug mode for systematically diagnosing and fixing bugs using runtime traces. And we also have an ask mode. And the one that we are particularly interested in today's video is this one right here that says plan mode. So I'll select the same. Okay. So as you can see, uh, the plan mode is selected and the color has changed as well. And next up, I can also select a model, but for this one, I'll keep it as let's say Opus 4.5. And now the thing is that right now, if you go ahead and give a prompt, for example, let's say I want to create something, build an app. Well, I can simply go ahead and give my thoughts in here, the kind of features that I want to add and pretty much everything in here. And as soon as I click on enter, cursor will not go ahead and start editing the file or doing any coding stuff. It will actually go through a thinking process and come up with an elaborative plan that it plans to do. So basically it will create a .md file that outlines pretty much everything that the AI is planning to do. And if the AI has any follow-up questions or any clarifications to make, the AI will talk back to you and ask all these questions and you can select all the appropriate answers or give custom answers. And then you can have a back and forth conversation with the AI agent before the agent actually starts working on the same. And before I actually show you how to use the plaid mode, let me quickly take a second to talk about our sponsors for today's video. With millions of new AI professional jobs expected in the coming years, having cutting edge skills is no longer optional. It's essential. That's why I'm excited to partner with Great Learning to introduce three programs to future proof your career. These courses offer practical, hands on experience and recognized certificate that will help your profile to stand out to recruiters. First up, the definitive deep dive. The 12 month PG program in artificial intelligence and machine learning. This program is comprehensive, covering core concepts like NLP, deep learning, agentic AI, and even generative AI. You will receive extensive hands on training, working through 11 plus projects and 60 plus case studies using over 27 tools. Upon completions, you earn dual certificate from Great Lakes and Texas McComb School of Business at UT Austin. Next up, if you're a professional or a business leader focused on innovation, then check out the Generative AI for Business with Microsoft Azure Open AI program. This 16 week online program is designed to equip you to leverage generative AI prompt engineering and large language model to solve real world business problems. You will gain hands on experience with tools like Azure AI Studio and Prompt Flow. You can tailor your learning experience with both coding and no code tracks and upon successful completion, you earn an official Microsoft certificate. And finally, there is the focused 14 weeks postgraduate program in generative AI for business applications. This course is perfect for working professionals aiming to lead gen AI initiatives. You will gain expertise in RAG, LLMs and agentic AI workflows and earn a valuable certificate of completion from UT Austin. All three programs include dedicated career support, personalized assistance and expert mentorship from industry professionals. And not just that, 
These programs also comes with scholarships as well. Click the link in the description below for all the details, the brochure and to apply now. Now back to the video. For example, let's just say I want to create a AI powered color palette generator website using cursor. And as you can see here, I already have a Next.js project. And now what I'll do is I'll simply go ahead and put my cursor in here and start by giving a prompt which has all my thoughts. So I can simply go ahead and say, I want to create an AI powered color palette generator website where the user can generate different color palettes and find all the color codes, all the color combinations, etc. And again, our website should have a neat and nice UI. And as for generating all these color palettes, I'm planning to use open AI API for the same. And our website needs a sleek and modern design. And yeah, in the landing page itself, the user should be able to use our app. I don't want any complex features like login or anything as such. So straight up, the user can visit our app and start using the color palette generator. So as you can see here, I went ahead and filled out pretty much everything that I had in my mind. So basically I want to create an AI powered color palette generator website. It should have a sleek and modern design and we only want the tool and nothing else. And again, we are planning to use open AI API and I just went ahead and you know, put out dumped my all thoughts in here. And again, as you can see, we are in the plan mode and Opus 4.5 is selected. And now I'll go ahead and click on the send button and now watch this. Instead of the AI directly going ahead and making changes to the code and starting writing to code, it will actually go ahead and create an elaborative prompt. And since we selected Opus 4.5 model, uh, it is actually going through a thinking process. But this is the most interesting feature that I was talking about. As you can see, it says, I would love to help you build this AI powered color palette generator. Before I create a detailed plan, I have a couple of clarifying questions. This is something that you don't get if you directly go ahead and use the agent mode to code something. So I just went ahead and told the AI all my thoughts as to this is what I want to generate. This is the kind of design that I'm looking for. This is the feature and everything, right? And now as soon as I click enter, now AI is asking me a couple of questions back. And the interesting thing is that it is giving me like multiple choice questions and I can simply go ahead and select the appropriate option and that should be it. So the first question says, how should users generate color palettes? And here we have a couple of options. So text prompt based, okay, random generation with generate button. So in this case, I want both. So I'll select the option C. What features would you like for the generated palettes? Copy individual color codes, export color palette as image or JSON multiple color formats, AI generated color names for each color. So in this case, I'll just say export entire palette as JSON. And then what overall design aesthetic do you prefer? Dark theme, light theme, adaptive. I'll just say light theme. And yeah, I can click on the continue button. So there you go. So this is the kind of difference that the AI will make if you're about to use the plan mode. And as you can see right now, the AI is creating the plan, which is the color palette generator dot MD plan. And again, it's already done. So maybe I can open it up. So there you go. Here we have the plan ready. And as you can see, it says a color palette generator. And this writer is a pretty elaborative document. And first of all, here we have an architecture overview. And here we have a diagram neatly showing pretty much everything that's happening within our app or the proposed app. So here we have the front end and it will interact with the API layer, use open AI API to generate the color palette, get the response back and beautifully display the same. And yeah, that is the uh, architecture overview. Here we can find all this information about the tech stack, the files that it plans to create. And then first of all, it will set up and install all the dependencies. And it is planning to use open AI SDK, chat and UI, HTML to canvas and lucid react for icons. We will have like two different API routes, one for uh, creating a color palette based on a prompt and also the random one. And it also says open AI will return a structured JSON response with five colors per palette, hex codes, color names, uh, palette theme, mood description, etc. Okay. And you can find a lot of information in here. And now let's just say I want to add one more feature and I want to make some changes to the plan that the AI has proposed. For example, let's just say I should also be able to upload an image and generate a color palette based on that image. Well, in that case, I can simply go ahead and give a follow prompt. I want to add one more feature into our app. Basically, the user should be able to upload an image and generate a color palette based on the uploaded image as well. So there you go. It says great addition. Image based color extraction is a perfect complement to the AI generation. Let me update the plan mode to include this feature. So there you go. All the changes are now made. And here we have a drag and drop image upload component and our plan is now modified. And now all I have to do is to click on this build button. And as soon as I click on this build button, what happens is that the AI will go ahead and instantly start building all these features. So let's just wait for it. And now it is asking us the permission to install a couple of NPM packages. So I can click on run. 
so it will take some time so i'll wait for the ai to complete and i'll see you afterwards all right so there you go so the app that we asked for that is a ai powered color palette generator is ready and next up the ai is asking us to add our open ai api key so i just went ahead and opened up platform.openai.com and i generated a new api key and i copied the same and then i created a .env.local file and i pasted the same in here so that part is now complete and now if i head over to localhost 3000 this right here is the app that the ai has generated and it says create stunning color palettes in seconds and we asked the ai to include three primary ways to generate color palettes so the first one is by giving a prompt then a random option and also by uploading image and now this is the time for to check if it actually works so here we have a couple of examples ones so let me just go ahead and say retro 80s and now i'll click on generate and let's see what happens so it's loading there you go here we have all these color palettes i have the option to copy the color code i can find the hex code rgb and hsl and if i click on any of these it actually copies the color code and there you go it actually works and next step let's just go ahead and try to upload an image and try to generate a color palette and for that i'll move over to this from image section right here okay and after that i need to upload an image so i'll quickly go ahead and select an image let's just say this right here is the image that i want to upload and i want to generate a color palette for this image so i'll select the same and click on open there you go that works as well so as you can see this is extracted from the image and similar to the earlier one i can actually copy all these color codes and that is also working and now if i head back to text prompt and as you can see here we have a random button and if i click on the random button again that option also works is what i believe so let's wait for it okay so here we have like a random uh, color palette generated as well so as you saw this is how simple it is to use the new plan mode right within cursor that helps you to go through an extensive planning process before actually creating the app and the only reason i was able to create or let's say one shot this particular working version of the app so as you can see this is the only prompt i gave and here we have the working version of the app an a powered color palette generator that has three primary ways to generate colors all in just a single shot and the only reason I was able to create it in just a single shot is that I first used the plan mode to come up with a solid plan and then asked the AI to create it and this right here is the output. And again, every time I want to incorporate a new feature or do a bug fix, I almost always use the plan mode and I urge you to do the same as well. This is such an underrated feature in Cursor and yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in today's video. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.